What's up, everybody? This is Keenan. And this is Maria. And, and we, we are, are your hosts host from, from I Know I, I Can Radio. Radio. And welcome to 2021 Jam special tribute to the life and legacy of Robert Bobby Green. Welcome and enjoy the show. We are Jams. We'd like to thank you for watching this virtual tribute. It's being done in honor of a uh, legend and the legacy of Robert Bobby Green, um, a guitar player who started playing seven decades ago and opened the doors for many of us to be able to do the things that we do. So I'd like to present it to his son, Bobby Green Jr. I'm honored to accept this award on behalf of my father. I appreciate all the support from the fans and the music community. And I appreciate this. Thank you. My name is Larry Mathis, and I'm the Vice President of Jams. And I would just like to uh, give you a brief uh, thing that Bobby did for me. Um, I called him uh, my uh, cousin was uh, need of a uh, transplant and I asked him to do a benefit f uh, to help me do the benefit and he came in he didn't hesitate and I would like to thank your father for doing that for me and I appreciate it, everything that he has done for our community Hello my name is Benjamin Terry of jams, and um, I got to really learn Bobby Green's existence through these gentlemen here. You know, got, I actually got the honor of playing with Bobby Green. So, you know, thank you, uh, Bobby. You know, we love you, and you know, we also love your son and your family. And we thank you for coming today to accept this award. Honor. My name is Isaac Green. Jams. Just want to say, I um, knew Bobby Green for a long time. And um, just as playing, we went out and seen him play. We just, you know, interact with him. He's a lot of fun. He laughs a lot. He tells a lot of jokes. We're going to miss him tremendously in the community playing around. And as far as the son, me and him go way back. He used to hang out, you know, have a little fun, you know, <laughs> laugh with <a little. laughs> him. That's where I'm going to stop at because <laughs> it gets a little fun. And I just want to say, um, I want to thank your father. Thank you for everything you've done for us. That's it. All right, we are so excited that you are here with us today. We have nice. a special band. Aren't we you do. excited? Oh man, I can't wait to see these guys. I love when they perform. It's I do awesome. too. And they perform throughout all Syracuse all year long. That's right. So we want to make sure that we introduce to you. Ready? Let's do it. Drop sight. Three, one, five. Woo!
to present this award to James Gator Boutwell and in and, and appreciation of him knocking down some doors for us to do what we do. Gator. Thank you, Reggie and the Jam, for this award that I received and uh, all the community that Reggie put into the community and for the musicians. I really thank you for this award. Gator is my husband. We met over 52 years ago 
and he has been playing guitar. I stood by his side, and I enjoyed the music of jams, and I enjoyed being a musician's wife. I'm just going to share a moment. Gator, no. I call him Gator. It's okay? All right. Well, anyways, we used to play at work together. Me, Gator, Don Ransom, and Terry Miller, and all of us used to get in the break room. And we had that room jumping. Didn't we, Gate? <laughs> so i like to thank you, Gate, for all the things you have done as far as inspiring me as a musician as well. I Gator for a little while. I don't know him as well as Hollis do, but um, I've watched his work ethic <laughs> on the truck. He was he used to ride around with his keyboard in his truck, you know, just and he'll pull over and look at me and pull up his cup of coffee and show me what he's doing. I'm like, hey, you ain't working, you ain't working. You you, you playing your keyboard? I just want to say he taught me how to loaf on the job. So. <laughs> I want to thank him for that. Right, I hope you guys are enjoying the show. Yes. Now I am looking forward to this next band coming up. I love these guys. They are all throughout the city of Syracuse and Central New York as well. Uh, so much energy. Yes, uh, So do. much passion. And they play all my favorite hits. All of them. Definitely, man. <laughs> so if you guys could please help me welcome to the stage. Welcome. Well, Skin band, check it out, y'all. Baby, I'm hot just like you never.
make love tonight well, Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up I cause you do it right Get up, get up, get up, get up And let's make love tonight I Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up I cause you do it feel so good It's the only song I know.
I'd like to present this award to John Bowen Sr. Um, John has been around for a long time. Um, I can remember him from when I was a kid. As a matter of fact, it was his band that I was watching when, well, we'll stop right there. But um, I remember John from a long time. His sons used to play in the band, and I played in the band with one of his sons. And So he's been around. He's been an inspiration. Um, his other son, Daquan Bowens, who you'll probably see a little bit later. And you see uh, John Jr. over here. Um, actually, John the third. Right, John the third, because your father was John Jr. So nonetheless, we'd like to present this award um, in appreciation of you being here before us. I'd like to thank the guys here, you know, for this award. You know, I think this is really nice. I really appreciate this, you know, them thinking of me, you know. Uh, Reggie Siegel here, uh, thank you, man. And now uh, to the UAD Larry, and, you know, you know, uh, uh, these guys was little kids when I was doing my thing. They were little kids when I was doing my thing. I came along with, uh, Gator. <laughs> we met each other when we were teenagers. You know, me and Gator, you know. And, and uh, Bobby Green, he was playing, and he was a young guy, and uh, he brought us out of the woodwork. We stopped the doo walk, and, 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 and we got with Bobby Green. We brought him out of the woodwork, and he brought us out. We bought our album by the Eisner Brothers and we never look back. <laughs> that we open up for professional singers, and we also cut a record down at uh, New York City on Broadway, 2650 Broadway, uh, Bell Sound Studio, you know, and I had a good life, and I love it, and uh, all my kids, I, I, I brought them up to love music. That's my mother, she played music and stuff. And I love music. Even old as I, <laughs> I am, I still try to do a little bit. But you know, when you start getting old, you, you kind of lose it. But it still don't make no difference to me. I love it. Yeah. Mr. Bowen, I want to say something. You encouraged me because you probably don't remember this, but when you guys had that group, I used to see y'all singing, yeah. and you guys used to say, "Hey, son, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't sing because you don't know what note you're on." <laughs> you forgot that, but I haven't forgot. I just want to give you that reminder. I just want to say that he was an inspiration to me too, also, in my music career, because he lived like down the street from me, about a block or two, and we used to always hear them singing and playing and stuff. And that, you know, inspired me to do what I do. And um, I want to thank him for that. Uh, I just want to say thank you, uh, Mr. Bones, for your con contributions to music and your shared memories with Bobby Green. Um, I got to know you through your son, Daquan Bones. And I can tell you, really instilled respect in an honorable man and a, a great musician. So thank you for pushing him. And, uh, This has been an outstanding show. Oh man, so exciting. And so many great acts, so many great, so much great talent throughout the city of Syracuse. Absolutely. Uh, you know, that's why I always enjoy hosting these, these events, participating in these events, and just being a spectator in the crowd, you know, with a drink in my hand. Like that. <laughs> that's right. I mean, award ceremonies, that's right. uh, dedications, I mean, everything. Yeah, yeah. And now, of course, we have to introduce our last band. 
just for this album. Last band, it's time to go. It's time to go already. Uh, we got to give them one more <laughs> outstanding performance, though, before we do say goodbye. That's right. So let's give it up for you, you a dude.
to our community I think it speaks just through the music that you guys play so we, we want to thank you uh, first and foremost absolutely but we can't forget our amazing sponsors yeah, no, because without the sponsors these shows could not be made possible absolutely so absolutely. first we want to say thank you to CNY Arts who has continued for so many years to provide funding for a lot of different art yeah. festivals and events uh, and especially for this particular uh, virtual event as well. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, we got Frank from uh, Syracuse Jazz Fest. That's, that's right. That's out there, the big support uh, as well. So we can't forget Frank that's out there. Uh, big shout out to Frank from Syracuse Jazz Fest. Who else we got? Well, you know we have to absolutely give credit to Jams. Oh, yeah. Jams. <laughs> man, man, big shout out to Jam. Absolutely, yeah, man, absolutely. Putting this outstanding uh, virtual event together uh, for the life and legacy of uh, Robert Bobby Green. That's uh, right. We'll be sorely missed, uh, especially at our, you know, we do our showcases as well. And just to see Bobby out there with that guitar, guitar you know, um, that's you know, right, it absolutely. Volumes, it speaks volumes for our, for our city, uh, for our community, so he will be uh, sorely missed. That's right. And again, I'm your host. Uh, part of your host, Maria Maldonado Lewis from I Know I Can Radio. That's right, That's right. and I'm Keenan Lewis. And, and we thank you all for thank participating. You. Thank you so much. And please share, share, and share uh, this virtual event. And thank you. Have a great day. All right. Good night. Bye bye. I had met you one time, we did a show together, but yeah. I didn't know who you were. Right. At the Jubilee, you had your little group mm -hmm. was coming up behind me, right. playing right. something like that there. You know, that's how I first heard your name. Mm -hmm. But then I met you up to school. Right. I met school one time. You walked up next to me, 
you know, and you ever been recorded or something, you asked right, me about Right, right. And I kept and saying, that no, the the Yeah, you kept saying, oh, man, so, you know. Yeah, I said, man, so this young kid, you know, yeah, trying yeah. to figure out who you were, you know, but you took interest. Yeah. And that made me feel good because there was nobody ever did take an interest yeah. in what I'm doing, you know what I mean? And uh, like so many young people coming up, you know, I don't, people don't take interest in it and push us out there. Well, you know, I, I, to that I want to say, you know, I was really honored that, uh, well, I was surprised to learn that you hadn't uh, recently recorded. And, uh, no. you know, that, that was an honor to, to, to have you on that Timeless Treasure project. But yeah. you did two cuts. Two cuts on that was uh, Booz Alley. And, was interesting because, you know, took interest. Yeah, yeah. You know, I always say, my people don't take interest in me now, but if I had made it big out there and come back to Syracuse, then, they, you know, everybody want to be at my house barbecue and say, I know Bobby Green, that's my man. Man, you okay. Right. You know, now they want to know me. Right, right. Because I got something. Right. Because you know they, I mean? they, they kind of seeing a different side of me now. Now, now they want to pay be, attention. Yeah, they want to be a part of me because it takes money sometimes to make people pay attention. Right, right. You know, I mean, pay attention when I got nothing. Help right. me get there, you know right. what I mean? And I can pull somebody else up and so forth. Okay. So that's why I try to push for all the musicians today. Yeah. That when we do shows like Jubilee Out, Juneteenth, I tell people, back us. Right. Not just saying the black, white, I mean, everybody. Right. Back people in Syracuse, I'm a Syracuse. Everybody back us in order for us to get anywhere. You ain't gonna right. never get nowhere if, if your own hometown don't right. Matter. Well, this you know, and, and that's part of the reason why I'm so glad to have you on the show and several other local bands. Is that you know we wanna we wanna rally the support for local music here. Right, right. You know, there's you know. so many times like he's saying for years. You know, not just our people, but just in general, the support for local music is not as strong as it should be. And so we want to kind of give you an extra push. You know, to kind of just. You know, go out there, go to the club, check out yeah. Bobby Green or One Black Voice or yeah. C. Jack Run or yeah. J. Project, right. whoever else is out there. Okay. You know, come, come check us all out because we, we really want your support. We need your support. Right. And if they don't come out there, you know, and show the people that we have some talent. There's a lot of good talent in the circuit, white, black, and all that. Mm -hmm. There's good talent here, but the people don't come out and support us. Right. Enough that the man gonna pay us. We gotta fight for the little crumbs for the little bars around here that we all circling around playing like they, yeah. you know. And, and and they they should be out there every time we play. They should be crowd outside the place so the yeah. man say he had to pay us. Right. right. To show that we are worth something. Right. You know. Well, you know what we are. You know. Maybe that's maybe that's uh, you know I, I know a couple of the gigs that I've come to. You've had a nice crowd, especially over at Reddick Bar and so oh, forth. Yeah, but, Joe um, Reddick's, yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The dinosaur and shifties, like yeah. places I play. Yeah. You know, like shift uh, dinosaurs, you know, they look out for me real mm -hmm. good. Ever since I played there the first time in 1998, I think it was, they always looked out. I've always played once a month there yeah. for years. You know, I'm in the cookbook, you know, okay. uh, dinosaur cookbook, oh, yeah. in there, you know, places like that. You know, right. like the Sammy Wars, I, I, I tried to get them to push for the doo wop era. Yeah. That's part of the music they left like out. They recognize, yeah. Yeah, where I come from. Show those pictures in a few seconds. Okay. And uh, there's a lot of people who are back there. That's part of our history of Syracuse. Yeah. And they should not be ashamed. I get a lot of play from people out of town asking for pictures and what kind of group we had and what was singing and everything. Mm -hmm. What we did back when we was kids singing doo wop here. Yeah. And they put it up in their books, which I have mm -hmm. the books I have showed you. Okay. And uh, like I said, Syracuse need to own up. The real part of this music scene also. Okay. So I was part of the doo wop era. Also a part of the R and B rhythm and okay. that well, I'm doing today. We're gonna to definitely talk about the door up here. Before yeah. we get to that, let's let's see. Uh, uh, in this photo here, I know this. Yeah, this is uh, the Floyd. legendary. Is this Floyd Little? Floyd Little. Let's get a close yeah, up yeah. on that. Yeah. You mean the football player? That's right. Them, well, what, 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 relation, what relation is he to you? That's my son-in-law. Your son-in-law. So he son married your daughter. Yeah, he married my daughter. You know. So. Uh -huh. Okay. He was having a good time that day. Yeah, I see. Was he singing? <laughs> he was right. <laughs> he was right. Well, you know, recently, just, that's why I put my guitar on. You say, uh, you right, okay. <laughs> All right, we look like he was having a good time. Uh, those yeah. of you who might not know, Floyd Little, <laughs> along with Jim Brown, uh, were part of the legacy of, well, they all were part of the same legacy of, of number 44 and right. issue. And, and recently there was a movie that was premiered here, uh, The Express, about Ernie Davis. Um, by the time this airs, it'll probably be in the theaters. So make sure you go check that out. But in right. any case, 
Floyd, <laughs> Floyd Little. Uh, I believe Floyd Little wore 44 after Ernie Davis. And Jim, well, Jim Brown wore it before. So Ernie Davis right, was kind of yeah. in the middle. Yeah, well, Ernie Davis went to Floyd Little. Uh, yeah, he went to, to come to Syracuse, mm -hmm. which he wasn't going to come. Right, right. After he found out he had passed away, mm -hmm. then he jumped on the first thing here. Okay, so he, he kind of took over from, from Ernie yeah, Davis. Well, Ernie, yeah, Ernie Davis wanted him to come here. Wow, well, you know, that's that's a wonderful piece of history. I wanted to tie that so, in because um, that's that's one of them. He's, he's a cool guy. Yeah, he's, he is, he's, 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 he's something else, man. Yeah. And I enjoy him, you know. Yeah. As, as a human being, uh -huh. you know, it's always he's nice to like. Guy. Yeah, Don Max. Yeah. Nice down earth guy. He's cool. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? If, if he, when he's back in town, you let me know. I'm going to try to see if I can catch him singing. <laughs> trying to sing or something. Yeah, catch him trying. I like that word, <laughs> trying. Yeah, all right, all right. That'd be cool. Well, let's, let's, yeah. let's go back to, to the doo-wop area yeah. before we close out the interview because I want yeah. people to be able to see you perform. So this you know. was in McChesney Park okay. on the north side. Well, about what year is that? Uh, 56, 57, something like that. And what's going on there? Well, we're doing a show, no music. Mm -hmm. You see the audience, like I said, you know, the audience that we have, you know, that uh, expressions on their face, how uh, interesting they are in the music, you know. And uh, I'm at the, uh, where am I at now? I'm over here. You over here? Yeah. You got right. that? All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You know, so y'all y'all doing like a doo wop acapella thing, acapella right? Acapella thing, man. Yeah. You know, with the dancing and the moving and. You know. About about so how you know. old were you around there, approximately? <laughs> <laughs> approximately. Woo! I don't know. I don't think I can count back that far. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you had to figure it out in 1936. Uh, let's see. Probably early 20s. What I say? 50. Oh, probably about. 2018, 19, 20 years. Okay, so you were quite young. Yeah, yeah. All right, like that. so then, let's uh, see what else you got. Then we went to uh, the recording studio when we first put out our first uh, 45, uh, Please Surrender. Now, this is the El Dorados in El Dorados. El Dorados. Oh, okay. I'm El sorry. Dorados. El Dorados is right there. There was a group called the El Dorados. <laughs> okay. So, I knew it was something there. Syracuse and so, El Dorados. The El Dorados. Okay. Right. Let me guess. That got to be you right there. Is that you right there? Well, that's my uncle. Oh, my goodness. That's my uncle. Uh, hold on a second. You got <laughs> that close up? <laughs> yes, sir. Y'all favor each other. It's ridiculous. That's my uncle taught me how to play again. Okay, now, where are you at, man? Because that looks that look like that. Y'all show y'all definitely from the same family. This is my brother. Okay. It's like a family thing. It's Kenny Tucker had just passed away. Mm -hmm. It's Raymond Green here. Okay. Jimmy Singleton mm -hmm. has passed away. And James Crawford. Okay. You know, so Wow. That was that was that group at that time. That's so cool. You you yeah. kept these pictures all these years. Oh yeah, that I got boss, they think I'm Sanford's son, man. That's so much <laughs> stuff. So much junk my wife used to say, that's so much junk, you know. <laughs> This is the Soul Brothers. Okay. From Syracuse when I you know, started playing with the, another group I played with one time. That's me over there with my high water, over here. high water pants. Yeah. Okay. My pants with. Yeah. That was the <laughs> thought back there. Right? Yeah. About what year was this about? Uh, I don't know what I got in there. 68? Yeah, about okay. 68, something like that. You know? We formed a group together, you know, a bunch of guys, Art Robinson, John Kane, Bob Scrivener. Uh, Ringo, mm -hmm. John Kane, Bob Scribner, Art Robinson, Jeff Chappelle, and Brian Sanders. Are these guys still around? Any of these guys still well, around? He passed away. John's still around somewhere. Ringo plays organ at our church at Antioch Church on Sundays. Okay. Which I play guitar at Antioch Church. Okay. On Sundays, Back here, so he was so. playing drums. Yeah, he was a drummer. Okay. When he first came to Syracuse, he was in my band. Mm -hmm. yeah, he played drums. Though he got, we got in this band here together. Wanted okay. to put a big together when uh, Sly and the Family Stones first came out. Oh, okay. We did a show with them in uh, Ithaca. You played with Sly, Sly and the Family Stones. Now, who, who else you played with? We uh, played uh, with, we play on the show with them. On we the show with uh, Rufus Thomas. Rufus Thomas. Sing Walking the Dog. He used to come in the Tree Room on Erie Boulevard when I played. Wow. And my mother and father, you know, I got pictures of us. Mm -hmm. uh, at the 320, uh, not 320, but the Satellite Club on the west side. Mm -hmm. Used to be a place called the Satellite All Night. Place. You come in there and start playing at 12 o'clock to 4 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. And uh, Chuck Jackson, 
Oh yeah, Chuck uh, Jackson. Well, Reverend Jesse Jackson's brother. Mm -hmm. Sing any day now. Oh yeah. Yeah. We were, That's cool. There were right pictures back. of me and him on the stage playing together. He was singing, uh -huh. I'm playing guitar. Wow. And stuff like that. So I met a lot of people, Oscar Brown Jr., mm -hmm. jazz singer, He's come to Syracuse. Uh, wow. and tree room. He was on, I don't know if it was Jack Parr's show or, mm -hmm. or Johnny Carson's show at that time, mm -hmm. but I seen him on the show that night and then the next night I was playing, he came in the bar. Oh, I said, cool. I just seen you on the show the other night. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Sing Summertime. Wow, okay. He sang Summertime, you know, sing that good song like that there. And then like cool. all, with uh, the doo-wop group we auditioned for, they had something the show back in 57, oh, 58. Wow. Okay, how did that turn out? <coughs> we didn't get out there. You didn't get out there? <laughs> you know, okay. But we did do that. You know, okay. We did, uh, that must have been cool. We tried to uh, yeah. do a lot of things. We did uh, uh, our, uh, an advertisement for Albino's Carpet Company. Uh, mm -hmm. It used to be on the ra radio. It was a jingle mm -hmm. that we sang the Albino's thing. And we ain't getting no money for it, but we did it. Okay, <laughs> so that was my experience. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, getting to meet people and, mm -hmm. and getting into the uh, music world. Where they move you through here doing recordings and stuff like mm -hmm. this and they open some doors for you to, you know, yeah. to do something like that so but i've been up down the highways a lot so much you know yeah like that, uh, and all because you love music and you loved it since such a little boy that's why i'm still playing that's right well you know what we <laughs> on and on, but you know we'll, we'll do a part two of the interview at some other point but uh yeah. let's get into some music you don't heard from the man the legend bobby green yeah. now we're just going to see him in action so the next stream you're going to see is Bobby Green and, oh no, Bobby Green, a cut above. Let's get that right. <laughs> a cut All right. above. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot, Bobby. Yeah, we'll appreciate the time. <laughs>
Thank you.